Hi everyone, I'm Connie from Radio Club. Hi, I'm Nicole from Radio Club. Today, both of us will be interviewing some of the hates. Yeah, so hope you enjoy it. Hi, today we have a very special guest from Help Learning Resource Center, Ms. Yip Ping. Today she would give us a rough idea on what uh, Help Learning Resource Center is all about, library and all of this really, really fun stuff. And you might think, library, or oh, I need to go face to face. No, you can also see online. And how to do yeah. so, Ms. Yip Ping would uh, uh, guide us along the way. The floor is yours. Hi, my name is uh, Chia Yip Ping. I'm the director of the library. I'm based in Wisma Help Library, but I do visit other libraries if required. Uh, a li- okay, I might say a little bit, a uh, few for few few minutes. Sorry. Uh, so I've started like a foundation a few years back, and I in my mind I always think that there's only like two libraries, like there are not many libraries. But as I start looking up, there are actually not just two libraries in Help. How many libraries are there, Miss Yip Ping? Uh, there are at the moment five libraries. Oh. <laughs> Two in Visma Help. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is for the degree uh, programs, mm. which is for your program. Mm. And uh, this is a uh, faculty of communication. And uh, the other program, the other one is for uh, Help Academy, the A levels uh, and the uh, franchise programs. So that's in Visma Help. In uh, ELM library, we also have uh, another library on the LL store and uh, those who are for degrees and also postgraduate programs. Mm-hmm. And uh, also the law library, we just moved it there also. Mm-hmm. The law library is also in ELM library. Okay, mm-hmm. And then one more library is in Subang 2. Subang 2 is the uh, biggest library so far. There are two stories and uh, most of the programs like psychology, foundation, uh, they are uh, also uh, language and education, they are all there. All right. The books are there. Uh, so some of the books are, uh, because it is like programs are offered in both campuses, in Taman Sarang campus and Subang, we will uh, put the books, uh, buy multiple copies, so both sides of the libraries will have the books. And some of the books, let's say you find that you are in Subang now and you want, yeah, the books is not available because it's all loaned out, but there's a copy in ELM library. You can let us know and then we will uh, transfer the book over to you. But give us one or two days to transfer the books over to you. Wow. That's cool. Wow. It, it, how many years have you been in help? I, I probably maybe maybe three, four years already because from <laughs> foundation. Yeah, I didn't know about this transferring thing yeah never yeah didn't know about it oh i know um, i know i know the transferring things because like when mm-hmm. uh, i'm year two right now and then my first year i do the orientation things right and then i still remember miss <laughs> yipping say don't worry uh, if you <laughs> want this book if wisma don't have i will go and take and bring back to you i feel like whoa <laughs> this is so cool that's why I still remember until now. <laughs> oh no, I think I wasn't listening then. <laughs> um, so, uh, I believe there are different opening hours for uh, different uh, campus. So, for like Wisma Help, the opening hours is uh, every weekday, right? Is, is this still uh, open during this? Yeah, because season? now with the, with the COVID-19, mm. We, uh, we are encouraged not to, because library is considered a confined space. Yeah. So we encourage students not to stay too long mm-hmm. in the library. So we standardize all the opening hours at the moment until further notice. So now Monday to Friday is from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And Saturday is only half day, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then uh, Sunday and public holiday, we are closed. So uh, at the moment, is we standardize it. Uh, in other hours, when it was not uh, COVID, then uh, we have to depend on the needs. Like in Subang too, there were a lot of students stay around the library yeah. area. They have a hostel there, so they, they want the library to open uh, 
later until about 9:30. Mm-hmm. Whereas in Damansara, it's very quiet after uh, 8:30. So uh, we close earlier. So it depends on the needs and the student requests and also the faculty requests. But at the mm-hmm. moment, it's all standardized uh, until uh, maybe things with the COVID is uh, settled down a bit. All right. We I would like to ask a uh, Miss Ping like. I remember we have a large amount of the database. Is yes. it? Yes. Uh, at the moment, we subscribe to about uh, 40, 40 over databases from Postgres. And uh, in fact, databases is required, especially for the degree holders, the degree uh, classes, because the books itself is the, it's only good for theory. And also when books are published, they are usually outdated uh, because the writers will need at least two to three years to come up with the book. But you still need the books for the basic theories. And uh, the databases are the journal articles that tell you the latest research in any area in your either your thesis area or your assignment area. So you need to complement both the books and the databases, journal articles, to help you with your assignment. So we encourage the students, actually, those who are even doing foundation, to start learning to use the journal articles so that when you go higher to maybe postgraduate or PhD, you are already very familiar. So for books, uh, some of the books, because the publisher want the student to buy the students to buy the print book, so they don't have e-books. So if there's no e-books, you've got no choice, but you have to buy the print books for the students to use. But we don't uh, buy, let's say you have 40 students, we cannot afford to buy 40 books for the students. <laughs> the students have to buy on their own. But the yeah. library can provide two or three in race spot area for you to use every three hours. And then if next three hours nobody borrowed, you can use it again within the library. Okay, so now we go through uh, the next question. Like if we can go, when we can go back to the uni, uh, maybe some new student that uh, want to learn, they want to borrow some books from library. Uh, uh, how's the duration they can uh, borrow the books? Like two weeks or one week or how long they can borrow the books? Okay, this is called loan policy. So mm-hmm. for the students at the moment, uh, for undergraduate is uh, uh, four books for 14 days. And uh, for postgraduate, it's five books for 14 days. But you can renew it. You can renew the books uh, if nobody booked the books. So uh, you can you can use the books. Uh, and, and especially now, COVID period, uh, students cannot come to the campus. So mm-hmm. we're keep renewing the books for the students, like for the mm-hmm. past, since March up to now. Some of them, have, especially those who are still overseas, we have to keep renewing the books for them until they are back to the campus, uh, hopefully soon. Mm. So the loan period is 14, period, uh, 14 days for four books for undergraduate, five books for postgraduate. But if you, uh, at, the, at the moment this year, we we, um, we waive the fine, but usually we will uh, find if, if the book is late, we'll find uh, 50 cents per, per book per day until the books are returned. So uh, try not to keep the book too long so that you don't have to pay the fine. Mm. And we have students, some of them who keep a long time so they have to pay a lot of fine. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Also send you some notification. I don't know whether you have experienced that. When you borrow a book, um, your email already given to us uh, in your faculty. So the system will send you a reminder. Have you received it before? To let you know that the books are due. If you have an email, that you have given to us whether uh, it's a correct email. Some can give us a help, help a live email, some give us your own personal email. You put in, I mean, give it to your faculty office, they will key the system. Oh. Uh, a total of four emails will be sent to you, notification, three days before the books are due, which is no fine yet, and uh, one day after due, uh, three days after due, and five days after due. So there are four notices to remind the, the student or even the staff to say that your books are due, so please return or renew them. And uh, another thing about library is uh, 
um, other than the facility in which students can borrow books and all, I think one thing that the new students would really enjoy or would really be fascinated is by the other facilities, right? Like, let me think. Computer, like you can start, you, you can use the computer or like printing facilities. Yeah, printing. Yeah. 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 The printing facility, we have uh, printers. Um, hmm. Now getting a bit more uh, sophisticated because the student want to be independent. You can do your own uh, top up of the amount into the uh, because uh, most of the photocopy we have the HP copier and also the depends on your campus. So hmm. the campus we have HP and also a repo copier. So what you can do is you do your own top up and you do your own printing from your PC, mm-hmm. from your laptop, and then you can just send your job and then just go to the printer and press print. I mean, key in your password and your user ID, you can you can print. So now mm-hmm. a lot of uh, DIY, so that you don't have to be in contact with us. You don't want to, and you can send your jobs uh, through your laptop or wherever wherever uh, which part of the campus you are in. You can just send your jobs. So the printing is uh, 15 cents per uh, per page and uh, for black and white and one dollar for color. So if you, you are not sure how to use, come to the library, we'll show you how to use, especially new students. All right. So for um, with my help, we also have a husband and wife team who opened up a shop uh, oh, just yeah, inside yeah. the help library. Uh, they help you to find the, the, the assignments. Sometimes you have assignments. And sometimes you have yeah, rushing, you want somebody to print for you. So save your work into a pen drive. Try not to have virus in your pen drive. <laughs> Bring it to the shop there, a little shop there. And they will print for you. They will charge you uh, per page. And binding also for your assignment, they can also bind it for you. So you can you can bring it there. Mm-hmm. The seats, um, different type of seats we have, different open plan. Uh, discussion room environment where you can do discussion uh, also the computer area or the we call it carol desk carol desk is individual uh, space video desk which is at with my help and that one is very popular especially oh, i enjoyed that the most <laughs> yeah I spent a lot of hours sleeping there <laughs> <laughs> so if you as long as you and i know sometimes mm. the students get up very early they come yeah. to the campus at seven o'clock so by afternoon, they, they really need a nap, but as long as you don't, you don't snore, you just <laughs> yeah. your uh, carol desk is fine. So uh, you can make use of the carol desk and you can make use of the open space or even the discussion room. Uh, so mm-hmm. you can book the room to use for your discussion when you need it for group uh, studies. Before we end this uh, session, uh, Miss Yiping, do you have anything you like to uh, say, or would you like to? How would you like to welcome the new students? Yeah. Um, we know that at this uh, difficult time where a lot of online learning uh, has to be done, but uh, it's a new way of learning. So we welcome the student to the library virtually. If you can't be uh, present in the library uh, at all times. But uh, when you're in the library, try to follow the SOP, wear your mask, uh, mm. try to, uh, try to uh, physical distance from one another at least one meter, and try to wash your hands as often as you can. And uh, if you have um, uh, any resources that you need help, feel free to talk to us, either uh, send us an email online or talk to the library staff, and we'll try to do the best for you to help you and we hope that you will have a enjoyable time studying in help and also to make use of the facilities besides sleeping in the library when it's cool and cool and nice and when you're tired uh, so we welcome you again and uh, hope that you you will do well in your coming in your exams and uh, graduate on time all right thank you